So this button here, upgrade to premium, what does it do? Well, when we click on it, it will take us to uh, paypal.com. If you just wait a moment, obviously it's just it's just loading PayPal. Um, it's taking us over to PayPal and it's asking us to pay for premium membership. That's the description of the item. Uh, we've got an item number which in this case is irrelevant. We've got the item price, like I said earlier, is eight eight pounds and ninety nine pence. And then we've got our totals here, quantity one. Um, and in here we are going to enter an, an email address to pay with. Um, so in my case that's not going to be my email address because we're sending the payment to my email address I'm going to use a different email address here type in the password click login and then it'll ask you to pay what will then happen is once the user's paid we'll then call our ipn.php page um, which is if we open context here um, I'll provide this in the forum as well. This is this is also in the forum. However, we do need to when we come down, um, we are going to create some more code that's actually going to process it. So I'm not providing the full code for this tutorial, but I'm providing the code um, that's irrelevant to the tutorial, uh, the nature of the tutorial. However, we will be explaining it. So uh, let's go back to our browser. So um, that's what's going to happen. We're, we're logging in. We're clicking upgrade to premium. What's going to happen is our IPN.php page is going to process this. And what it's simply going to do is it's going to check the user ID, the user that's logged in. It's going to pass that to PayPal. It's going to check the payment. And then what it's going to do is, oops. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, processing the payment through our page that exists on our server and we're actually the page is going to be checking the payment and then updating this value to one so when that value is updated to one let's just go back to browsing our, our data when this is updated to one what's going to happen is the user is going to be redirected back to the page the payment would have been processed and if it's processed correctly our ipn.php file uh, which exists on our server and like I've already shown you is here is going to connect and it is going to if we refresh change the account type to premium and then with the is is premium function you can disallow access to specific pages based on whether the user has premium membership so that's how it's going to work I know this has been a really long introduction but it's really um, fundamental that you understand how the uh, IPN processing works uh, before you actually uh, go ahead with the code because um, if you don't know how it works then you're going to it's going to be hard to try and debug any errors you may find along the way so um, the last thing that we need to do in this uh, video uh, with setting everything up is um, we need to go over to our PayPal account so obviously if you don't have a PayPal account you are going to need one uh, it doesn't have to be a premium account it can be a standard account you can still use instant payment notification and there's a few things that we need to do to set this up now you've probably noticed that over on uh, this page here the URL is phpacademy.org forward slash tutorials forward slash IPN now this folder IPN this last uh, folder here is where I am storing all of the files that you can see in my text editor so we've got glob.inc.php which is a global script which is going to contain our database connection and our is premium function we've got index.php this looks like index2.php but that's just due to my um, my um, FTP client FileZilla uh, it's just renamed this to index.php but this index2.php here is in fact this page you see here uh, what we do have then is ipn.php and logout.php that just destroys our session and re re relocates us uh, to index.php so you can see that um, you can see that I'm using uh, on a on a public server where where people have access to it. Now, why am I doing this? Why aren't I working on localhost? And why aren't I creating this tutorial on my computer? Well, the reason for this is obviously when we uh, when PayPal needs to redirect all this data to a to a file on your web server, it can't be your local computer because well it, it could be but I don't want to just specify an IP address for my local computer and uh, and that so obviously when you are when you are working with things like this 
you need to really be on a public server to allow um, to allow PayPal to access this domain. So what we first of all need to do is we need to set up our payment receiving preferences. So if you go into the um, the uh, profile tab or the profile link on your oh okay I need to log in 